My name is Sarah Hollingshead and I'm a fifth grade language arts teacher at Chisholm Trail Intermediate School in Keller ISD and I'm also the AVID site team coordinator. We are the first and only AVID elementary in Keller ISD and I'm here today to tell you about um, AVID and also about um, the biggest component of AVID elementary which is the organizational piece which is our binder. So AVID, AVID's mission statement is to close the achievement gap by preparing all students for college readiness and success in a global society. So our first goal with our students is to prepare them to be organized and successful every day. And so on our school supply list, we have a binder. And so I'm gonna show you today how to set up the binder. So we have our binder and we're gonna get it set up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get all of our dividers which are on the school supply list. I went ahead and labeled these already, but I'll tell you what all the different dividers um, are going to be. So the first divider is going to be the homework divider. So if your um, child has any weekly homework, anything for the night, it'll go behind the homework section. So I'm going to put that one in first. The next divider will be work in progress. So if your child has an extended homework assignment or maybe they're working on something in class that will be due later in the week, that's where this um, will go. So that will come after the homework section. Next, we're gonna start organizing the binder by um, what your student's schedule is. So um, let's say I have a student in my class who goes to ELA and then math and then science and social studies. That's the order I'm going to do. So first we have ELA, then we have math, next we'll have science, and then social studies. So some teachers may choose to include subdividers within the original divider, so that's why we have extra dividers, just in case that's what your teacher chooses to do. Um, so let's see, the next thing we'll do is we'll have the Tuesday folder. This is where all school communication will go into, and so we'll put this in the very back of the binder, and then behind the Tuesday folder is where we're going to keep all of the graded work. So anything that the teacher grades that your kid turns in, that's all going to be kept at the back of the binder. Now all the graded work will not be um, removed from the binder it'll stay in the binder so that way your kid can see um, you know if they need to correct an assignment or if they did really well in something it's all going to be kept in the back of the binder then at the end of the six weeks grading period we're going to purge and take out all of the graded work and then your teacher um, will store it for um, the kids um, the next part that we're going to do is I'm going to close up the binder and flip back to the beginning we want to make sure that we have all of our supplies prepared so um, we are going to have a pencil pouch that will have pencils, erasers, um, red pens, black pens, highlighters, and expo markers. And so we're going to keep this in the very front pocket of the binder. Now any extra supplies like um, matte pencils or scissors, um, those can be kept in here as well or in the, um, in the locker or there may be a place in the classroom to store those. The next thing that we're going to add to our binder is our agenda. Our agenda um, will be filled in every single day, so any um, assignments for the day, any homework, all of this will be um, in there. On the back side, there's a weekly learning log, so that way students can reflect on what they've learned for the week. I have two agendas that I'm going to put into the binder now, um, just for ease for the two um, weeks. Next, a calendar, so that way we can keep track of any extracurricular activities or any school events or any upcoming tests. So next we have the calendar. Next we have the binder uh, check sheet. So every Friday or every week, um, the binder will be checked by the teacher. And this ensures that your child is staying organized and they're being prepared to be successful in the classroom. The very last part is um, a little um, Pride Bucks page of things that kids can earn rewards for with their Pride Bucks, which is a school incentive plan. So I'm gonna pop that in there as well. Last but not least, I have a ream of paper, so that way when we're taking notes or we're doing any um, activities, there's already paper ready in the binder. Now the very last thing that we're going to do, and this is what your kid will do the first week of school, is they're going to create um, a successful student. And so they're going to illustrate a picture of themselves and then describe some qualities about them that will help them be successful as a student. I made one as a teacher, so I included on mine. Offer tutoring, be nice, do hands-on projects, um, all the things that kids enjoy. So I'm gonna stick this in the very front pocket of my binder. But um, just in case it doesn't, um, your binder doesn't have one of those, it's in a page protector sheet. So here's my binder. This will help me be successful as a teacher, but it'll also help all the kids at CTI be successful as well.